Sam and Kobe, you know I'm about to react to this video. Episode 2, let's go. Sam and Kobe uploaded this video and it's called We Never Expected This To Happen. Baltimore Hotels. This is episode two of the season, okay? So if you haven't watched my first reaction, y'all can go ahead and click onto that and watch that one first before you watch this one, okay? Let's go ahead and get started. This is a 26 minute video, so let's go. What the f is that? Oh my God, oh my God. Bro, I feel like the shadow man is here. He's coming up against a previous experience that he had when he was younger and he's ready to let it go. And I'm afraid it may take a shock or a jolt to do that. Have you used a Ouija board to try to communicate with it since? If you do want to communicate it and ask for what it, what it wants, I will. So now I want to. Oh! This is considered the most haunted uh, in the morning of the year. Somebody lost their life right in this corner. Let's go back to the most haunted point, see if we can contact something. Have so much chills through my heart. Why does Ouija board keep coming up now? What's up, guys? So, before we continue this video, we have a huge announcement that you cannot miss. We're gonna go ahead and fast forward that. In Florida, this hotel exists in the States, Miami to be exact. The Baltimore Hotel. Explain to me what just happened, little boy. Okay, so we're sitting down, we're watching a show, and then me and Corey hear a jolt over here, and we heard footsteps. And we're like, what the f***? We walk over here, there's nothing here. <laughs> Dude, five minutes later. Five minutes later, we hear it again, and Corey walks over and looks at the peak, and there's a dude in a suit. Standing, just looking at the just door. staring at the door. Not knocking, no. not ringing the room, not calling us. And then he leaves. He gets another bird. And get this. Huh. We're the only room on this floor, dude. You open the door, and it's our room. Why would he come here, dude? And then why would he stand here without, like, knocking or something? Like, Guess what time it is. He looked like an employee, though. So I don't find that a little, I don't find that crazy. 2.40. So that means 20 in 20 40. minutes we're gonna do another seance. Oh, here we go, here we go. You think this place is even haunted, man? Be honest. Honestly, like I'm getting pretty creepy vibes and I usually don't. Yeah, usually you're like the skeptical one, that's why I ask. What are you eating, by the way? Is that a dog treat? It's a beef stick, you want one? Why the hell was that so hard? Dude. It is freezing! Yeah! No. This is where he died, like right there. I know. Scary. That like you heard Zozo. Uh. Just out of curiosity, I wonder how many shots he took. Imagine the elevator just opening and you're planning to go there for a reason. Not expecting the worst is about to happen to you. The door is just open and pop, pop, pop. And that's it, you're done. You're done. Your life is over. I have so much chills in my heart speeding really. Was Why? that the only one that just heard that? That sounds like Zozo. <laughs> What's Zozo? You know, did you just hear that? We're the ones that heard like Zozo, right? Is that, is that what we're saying that we heard? Think about that, bro. We're the ones that have been talking about playing the Ouija board and we're the ones that just heard the demon. It's like it almost wants to only talk to us. You see anything yet? Here's a vortex, bro. What? What? I got my work. Oh my god, I can see it bleeding right there. Ah, jeez. Oh god. I don't want to see that. I really don't want to see that. right there. Right? Move your fucking head, bro. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I touch it. No, no, I don't. I didn't touch it either. I mean, I don't remember that being here. First time we're okay. here. I keep going through these like mood changes, bro. Where like I'll really want to do the Ouija board, and then, like there's a time like right now, like I don't, like I want to even consider doing it as of right now. Yeah. But then in ten minutes, I can totally be like, hey, let's do it. You see anything on the EMF? For some reason, it's more scary that it's not doing anything. I know. You know, we're like, oh, it's going off. Nice. Yeah. But here it's just. No. Literally nothing. And then like I was even arguing like kind of 
with the girl in LA because I was like, well, I don't want to get rid of the Shadow Man. But like, I've been thinking about that a lot. Like, I do want to get rid of the Shadow Man. Like, I don't know why I would tell her that I didn't. I think the best thing. Boy, you are confused. What's your name? Corey, right? You are a confused man. You either want the spirit to be around you at all times, or you don't. Which one is it? I mean, you're afraid of this guy. Or the spirit, whatever. You're afraid of him. Get rid of him. Do whatever you can to get rid of him. Yes, to get more knowledge on what it wants, because then you can understand if you want to get rid of it or not. We have to go everywhere, brother. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> Oh, yeah, let's just get back down there. I don't think there's literally anything. What? Oh, that's what? a tooth. Wait, what the f- That's a tooth. Yo, what the f- yeah. What's going on? Guys, there's like a- That's a tooth. Ew, shut up, shut up. I just wanna- Ew, ew, ew. Ah, dude! Why would you touch yeah. it? Yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Bring tissue, bring tissue. What, what do you mean bring tissue? What bring are you there? Bring tissue, you already touched it. Might as well go all out and just pick the damn thing up. A damn tooth. Again, this happened before with them. They were at a cemetery and they found teeth. I think, I'm guessing like animal teeth. It don't matter, regardless. There's a fucking tooth in your hotel room. Weird. Bro, there's a fucking tooth on the floor. Why the fuck would a tooth be right there? That looks like like it could be my tooth. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's a human tooth. Oh, you remember when we found all the teeth by the graves? Shut oh the my up. god. Shut the fuck oh, up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh god! Oh, oh, god. oh, oh god. shit. Now what's going on? Right next oh, to the wow. No way. Oh, Literally god. right next to it. Dude, we walked around this entire place and it didn't go off at all. I'm gonna touch it. Don't wa man. why would you want to touch it? Whoa! 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 whoa it's spiked! No! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! This is no joke! Oh my god! Oh my god! Whoa! Whoa! whoa. Did you go? Holy shit! What the sh was that? Guys, something's moving down there. Guys? Something's moving. Where? You heard that? That came from the other bedroom. Yeah, something right around here yeah. was well, like... <laughs> I don't know. I've been Obviously, hearing noises. It like you guys. It like... No, it, no, it wasn't. We, we, were, we were over there looking down on this while I was doing it. What? Something hit me. My, I don't know. Yeah, you're like... I've something hit you in this room? Just now. Um, <laughs> yeah, you know what's really weird? I wasn't trying to seem like a baby. But when me and you came running up the stairs to go over to them, I was terrified because I literally did not want to look in this mirror because I thought there's, it felt like there's something in here. You just don't want to? And then we hear that noise. Yeah, because I was being a baby, you know, scaring myself. And then you hear that noise, you say it's in here, we walk in here. It's freezing in here. And there's the mirror right here that you're, you were freaked out about? That's not, I don't know. I'm starting to get freaked out. I've been trying to play it cool and I'm starting to get a little scared. Yeah, this definitely didn't scare me at first, but after hearing all the history and now this is kind of freaky. Let's just go. Let's walk. I want to know whose tooth that was. Why are y'all being creepy? <laughs> Whoever is filming, you're being creepy. Why in the world are you recording your friend on the phone with his girl? For what reason? <laughs> Weird. single most haunted place in all of Miami. And I don't know, it's just weird. Oh my god. Wait, what? We found, like, there's so many coincidences that make me, like, freaked out about this thing, because I don't know how we found a freaking tooth. I'm usually not scared of these things, but it's just the fact that it's so, like, perfect. It almost doesn't make sense. Like, so many signs are all coming together, and I just feel like we're getting to a point where I don't want to screw up. Yeah. So, are you scared of this man? So, first things first, before we start this, I'm just going to say this right now. <laughs> I don't know if this place is that haunted. Are you getting the same vibe? Like, yeah. But so I'm thinking what what they're assuming is that maybe these are all planned out. Maybe the hotel is in on it to where that's how they make their money is scaring their guests to believe that it's haunted. Uh, purposely placing a tooth in the hotel 
purposely putting a, a smudge on the mirror, um, purposely having an employee outside their room at 2.30 in the morning. Is that what he's trying to say? I don't know. We'll see. There's crazy stories that have happened and we found a tooth, but dude, like, besides a couple of cracks and noises, there hasn't really been anything that's actually happened. Yeah. It has more stories than a lot of places. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. But he said it might not be haunted, like, recently because of, like, cleansings. So it might have been haunted, like, for the last, like, you know, however many years. A while well back. I feel like it's giving us a bunch of signs leading up to the big moment that always happens. That is so weird, though. That is, like, whether or not we've caught a lot, we've seen signs. Uh, but one way to find out, it was saying, let's actually, like, try. It may, may or may not be haunted, but the best experience I've ever had trying to you know, get contact or anything, it's just being focused, holding a seance. We decided to put salt around these two. That's the best time to do a seance, is at a location where it's least haunted. <laughs> you had all these opportunities to do it everywhere else, which you have, but why not do it at a place where it's least, least haunted and it's more safe? Because you never know, you never know what's about to come through and you want to be safe. Uh, couches, so be more Healed and stuff like that. Obviously, we've been talking to a lot of experts trying to make us healed and more mm -hmm. cleanse as well. So, it's really good. Especially tomorrow when we go back to your place. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to do the Ouija board. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> you go back and forth. Okay. <laughs> Join hands again. Sure. Here we, we go. go. But noises from the old structure. It's gonna happen. There's some other sound or sign. It. They heard something because they all reacted at the same time. I missed it. I see that you guys said listen, and I was listening, and I didn't hear shit. So let's rewind that because I want to hear it. Okay. Shh. I still never heard that. I haven't tried saying that. Uh, fatty wash. That was. I heard it. Okay. That was above us. A huge boom. No, that was back there. That was above us. Boom. That was like furniture scooting or like a wall banging or something. It was like a boom. Yeah. Did you think the camera picked that up? I don't know. I don't know. It did. Talking about Freddie Walsh again. No, you're talking about the other. What were we saying? The Zips. The Zips. 
institution, uh, whatever. I can't, I can hardly remember what she was. Do you hear that? Yeah. I heard it. I heard it, yeah. The same thought. It's like, it's like someone moving furniture. Like you can hear those thumps. Maybe you guys should do the seance up there. Maybe that's the location you should go to. Say it again. Focus, focus on that side. Oh, yeah. Yeah. If there are any spirits in here at all, if there's one, two, three, as many of you, we're not sure who we're talking to, but if you can hear us, can you please make a noise letting us know that you're in here with us? <laughs> again. Oh, yeah. Did you guys hear oh, that? That's crazy. Dude, that was perfect. Holy. Oh, yeah. Wait, wait. Is that coming from the room that was locked? I don't know. That's what wait, I'm saying. That's where you found two. Every single thug dude, is up. It's up there. That's what I'm saying. Go up there. That's where you should be. Both of you found the twos. Fatty Walsh. Zozo. Zozo. <gasps> yeah, I heard Dude, that. That was like the door. Zozo, or the Zinzi, or whatever word you're saying. What is that? That's what it responds. Something is connected to those words. I know it's cliche to say it's an old building, but like that very sound that we heard, like that was like the most crack sounding one. But this is different though because these noises are happening exactly after your question or what or your statement. So whatever you say, those noises are happening on cue. So it's not the structure, is what I'm trying to say. There's something there with y'all. And I believe you guys should go upstairs into that room and do the seance. Like it, it's, it's more like freaky to me whenever we hear a thump. Cause it's like, what, what was that? But I don't know if it's a crack. We have to find a way to get more of whatever could be here to like, you know, visit us, talk to us more. Yeah. Because like I don't wanna like sit down and just like react to every sound we hear. But so you're saying like every single sound we've heard you don't think it was paranormal yet? Hey, okay guy. I'm just wondering I don't know. I don't know. Like I'm just saying that, you know, it could be anything. Yeah, there are I'm not gonna say it's not I'm not gonna say it is. I just wish that, you know, usually when we go to a place we have a lot more going on. Mm -hmm. And, you know, sometimes there might be a thud where nothing happens. Yeah. <laughs> the more experience we get with these adventures and stuff and dealing with ghosts or spirits or whatever you want to call it, the more, like, we're getting used to it, in a way. Mm -hmm. and it's just like, like, every single time right. we have a seance, it's, like, harder and harder to get something up. Remember the first time we went to Biltmore in L.A.? And the candles literally f blew out in front of us? Damn, y'all went crazy. That doesn't happen to us anymore. Because the nose were so open to it. I don't know. There, there's a part of me that thinks that yeah, they, they can kind of understand that we are believers, so they don't really need to like prove themselves. But you have to also keep in mind that you're in different locations. So it, that just might not be it. It just means that some spirits want to contact you and some spirits don't. But because we're talking to them. Just like humans. Sometimes I want to be left alone. Leave me alone. Sometimes I want to engage in conversation. It all depends on my mood, right? Yeah. Well, maybe in the beginning, we were more vulnerable when we were doing these things. You know what I'm saying? And now like, oh, another seance. Because we believe more. That's what I'm saying is it getting too repeated to where it's like, I think it's just, oh. I missed it. Yeah, what the? What do you mean? What? Yo, look at this key. No. I can't see, ooh, no. they that played key was it. like halfway down like this. Ooh, they played it. Wait, what was that key like? It was literally like halfway down. I forgot which one it was, but it was one of these. Do they? Yo, what the? F See, how do you explain that? What the? F They're gonna say I pushed down. I don't know. I don't know which one it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you explain that? Like we, we have all those booms and whatever that could be, you know, old building, but a piano going off? I don't know. What do you guys say that? <laughs> I've never heard a piano go off by itself, unless it was. A I have. When you have an autoplay. <laughs> Wait a second. Wait, what? Oh! What? I missed it. See what happens when I talk my shit? Let me rewind that real quick. 
Okay. Something happened. Piano going off? I don't know. What do you guys say to that? I've never heard a piano go off by itself. Unless it was at the what? He mumbled. I can't hear him. I've never heard a piano go off by itself. Unless it was at the Bowmark Hotel. Did y'all catch that? Because I did not. I I'm so lost what he said. Wait a second. Oh my god. <laughs> what was that? What was that? Did you wait, 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 wait. Piano, 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 go, oh. go, 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 go. That, that, li listen. Oh, the piano. I don't think I saw this one. It sounded like a, like a, like a high, did, did you even hear that? Dude, that's just another thing that's happened in our past that came up again. We're sitting right here, too. Like, no one's obviously right here. Like, what the fuck? But what does that mean? Like, let's say that that was paranormal. Your camera is fucking up. Oh, no. Oh, no. All these things are coming back at us for a reason. Why? The spirit is messing with their equipment now. It's like it's like repeating the path. Damn. Oh, it just shut off. The camera just shut off. Again? Yeah. It's Damn. like the third time it shut that off. That was the weirdest thing. What do you mean? I don't know. Maybe off? we just had it like on for two. Okay, now that there is no other excuse that I can find or figure out when it comes to the equipment breaking down because the employees at the hotel can't do that. Okay, unless they're somehow magicians and they have magic and they were like equipment fuck up no <laughs> sums up what? Oh, what the fuck? i was in the middle of my sneeze i was about to fucking sneeze and you guys scared me <laughs> my sneeze went away okay <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> what just happened oh, it just shut off the camera just shut off Again? Yeah. It's like the third time it shut that off. That was the weirdest thing. What do you mean? I don't know. Maybe we just had it like on for too long. What the fuck? Oh, what the fuck? 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 Out of here, she saw something. A shadow of what? Corey. Corey. A sh shadow of what? Dude, tell us. A shadow of what? It just looked like a f just a, a, it didn't look like a person. It was just a tall, like. Oh, what? 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 Yeah, let's go, let's go. Y'all are freaking me Dude, that same. I don't know if someone's standing outside or it's the wind or that's what's making the shadow. I don't but know that, that curtain is was moving when I went back over there. The, the curtain. Did I just fucking see the shadow man again? Wait, so in a span of five minutes, piano camera turns off randomly, and then you see the shadow man immediately, or like a, some sort of shadow. And that was when we were saying that we weren't believing, bro. This is like what I'm saying. These demons. This is from the seance, and y'all want to do the fucking Ouija board? Are y'all crazy? Do you guys want to have a long life or not? Or whatever we're talking to, are toying with us. Like they know what we're going through. They're like picking little jokes from our past and shoving it in our face. Yeah, yeah. It's like they know everything that we've been through is reoccurring tonight. Okay, so I made up my mind. For anyone that thinks that all this ghost stuff is probably fake, I agree with you. <laughs> There's what? not much that I believe in. All of it, or what do you mean? This hotel, or what? Well, everything, everything like, it's just not crazy enough to really call it. The piano? Playing by itself? The piano, but like, out of the million other sounds we hear, like, it's just not solid evidence. So you're just saying, like, here in the Biltmore, like, tonight, we haven't accounted for that much? Well, just say, like, yeah, but like, in general. Like, and I, I don't know if I, like, believe, like, any of, like, the ghost, like, the ghost gadgets. And you heard from my reactions, too. There's some things that are predictable in these videos, and there's some things that are, that can be explained. But then there's other things that can't. So I believe some are just coincidences 
and I believe other experiences are real shit like there's real spirits walking amongst us and I, I don't necessarily believe it's a bad thing really? So you're going back to being more skeptic after all the things we did? Well, there's just not like we've been doing so much stuff and like I don't really know like if anything we've done has been that crazy. So what would prove it to you? Yeah, what do you think? Possession. You, think you want to be possessed, boy. Is that what you want to do? In order for you to believe something, do you want to be possessed? We should like ditch all the gadgets and just do a solid ass seance. The beeper thing, like it only goes off if there's like electricity or if there's a phone nearby, like it reacts to energy. So like, but no matter what, it's 2020, there is literally a wire going through every single wall. Every single person in the world has a phone. Like, like these gadgets are designed to go off no matter what, even if, even. He has a point. He really has a point. And what I do respect and appreciate about this channel, I have not heard him really say this from since I've been watching. I'm glad they kept this in the video. Because this could kill the whole mood of what they're trying to do on this channel. And they can lose subscribers because of it. Because one of their own is saying this probably ain't real. So I like that, that, I like that they kept this in the video. Even if we're in the middle of nowhere, like are the rods. The rods are gonna turn no matter what because they're so sensitive. Like every single thing like just happens because it's made to happen easily. I definitely think the gadgets are busha, so I mean I wanna try to get some real stuff because as of right now, there's not much that I believe. At the same time, I feel that he's using manipulation right now. I think this is his way of convincing his little buddy Corey to do the Ouija board. That's what I think. I think it's manipulation to its highest. <laughs> okay, well, how about we're going to my hometown, yeah. get on my Ouija board, no gadgets, we'll turn off all the lights, we'll get candles, we'll get a seance going, and... What did I say? And Corey is such a softy and such a people pleaser. He's like a kid to me. Like I feel like he's a 10-year-old kid inside a... a young man's body and he's just trying to like be part of the group <laughs> he's just trying to make everyone happy but look at his um look at jake's face though when he said that yeah get on my ouija board no gadgets or turn off all the lights see his face he's like yes i got him i got him <laughs> we'll get candles we'll get a seance going and i'm not saying that i'll touch it Actually, you know what? No, what? I might have to just to improve you. Whoa. Because if you're trying to say that all of this is bullshit, bro, and you know how many investigations we've done, and if you're still not believing it, then I'm gonna get something attached to you. <laughs> that oh, way you shit. can believe it. All right. Well, I mean, like, I yeah, like I'm saying, like I don't believe in all this extra stuff, but you know, as they say, communication is key. If there's something there, I feel like communication is the easiest way to talk to them. Not like something that some nerd made in his basement. So we're about to do some real, real ghost hunting back at Corey's house. We're gonna go back to ass on the witchy board. <laughs> so you really don't believe. Dude. We gotta prove something to Jake tomorrow. You're gonna wake up like in yes and no answers. <laughs> I guess the plan is to tomorrow Excuse is to me. do something super real. All right, guys, so uh, it's been like, what, an hour or so? Yeah. Um, Jake and Corey are upstairs um, doing who's, who knows what, but we decided to come back here and uh, talk to you guys a little bit about how we've been feeling and especially about what we really think about the Fillmore Hotel and our experience here. It's, it's very weird to us that Jake all of a sudden is now not believing any of this stuff. I don't find it weird at all. Y'all heard it from me first. Manipulation. He wanted this from the very beginning, and Corey kept going back and forth with it. He had enough. So he had to fuck with his head to get what he wanted. Because I know he's had experiences before, especially in our last Biltmore Hotel. Like, we had like a lot of crazy stuff. So, what I think he means by all that, you know, disbelief that he was talking about earlier is that he doesn't think that we caught anything tonight. 
and the, he wants to catch more yeah. later, but like, I think a lot of cool signs still happen tonight. I agree. And like, it like, fell into place really well. I agree. I don't know, it's kind of like hard to explain to you guys, and we, we always try to be as real as we possibly can with you, but it just kind of felt like almost a slap in the face when he said that. We've been through, you know, the castle, like everywhere in England, like all of our adventures, last year like before we even started doing like series content and stuff like he knows that this paranormal stuff is real and it's like evidently happened to us and we've captured it on camera but it's like there's still like this stubborn part of them where it's just like oh yeah like all oh, this is bullshit like i don't agree with anything and it like just it's really upsetting especially when you like fly your friends out <laughs> six hours like <laughs> he's saying especially when i pay for his damn ticket to come to to come travel the world with us and he's going to just slap us in the face like that just like that from LA to Miami to like do something like this and he just won't take it seriously it seems like he's just joking all the time he doesn't actually I believe might be and again I, I agree with him on this end that we're focusing too much on the equipment and the technical side. Dowsing rods could be your hand grip, or EMF readers could be other energy frequencies, and that I do agree. I think a lot of people don't believe them because they're not 100% proven. So I think what we'll do tomorrow to prove to him and to you guys and to us is hands off all the EMF readers, hands off all the equipment, and just do an old fashioned, like serious seance mm -hmm. and like really try to get to the bottom of Corey's thing and see if we can, you know, actually make things happen without all the gadgets. Yeah, because in reality, it's Corey who needs the help the most right now. Whatever we need to do to make this as genuine and authentic and to make Jake, especially somebody who's more involved and somebody who actually believes and cares, we're gonna do that. I think he'll really like get back into it and start to leave me in the paranormal once he sees how much it's affecting Corey and how much it's affecting his friends. Mm -hmm. So I think that's going to be the plan for tomorrow. Fingers crossed. But with that being said, we hope you guys enjoyed this video today. I know it had a lot of information in it, but uh, yeah, we think we, we... I'm pretty sure this hotel's haunted. <laughs> Dude, I mean, our historian says it's the most haunted place in all of Miami, and I know Miami is haunted. We love doing these, like, very, very well-known locations just as much as the other ones, so if you want us to do another hotel, haunted hotel around the world, get this to 150,000 likes. 150,000 like it right now. Takes Why is that? Why are there so many haunted hotels? I want houses. Have you guys done a video? Sam and Kobe, I'm talking to you. Have you done a video in New Orleans? Now you know New Orleans is known for their witchcraft, their black magic, the um, haunted areas. Go there. And I went on a haunted tour once and there's a house there, and I think it's a mansion, I'm not quite sure, where slave owners had slaves it was a doctor i believe would literally do experiments basically for example cut off an arm attach it to the leg area now and this is like real shit you should go to new orleans if you haven't gone there yet just two seconds and we will do another spot of your choice back it up go get the merch go subscribe to us and them and tomorrow we'll get to the bottom of the shed. I want to see some clips for the next episode. Today is going to be really interesting because we're actually going to be able to see what's been haunting it. We're at the origin of this spot. Like Tonight, tonight we're going back to my old house because of all the activity they, that they've been getting. But there's but like his experience is, is, is real. Like, ask to to release from you if you want it to. And if you don't, that's okay. That's your, that's your prerogative. Take your space back. Whoa! Don't know what to expect. But you know damn well I'm gonna be reacting to that video. Alright you guys, let me know what you thought about my video. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And please hit that bell so you can get notified every time I upload. See you in the next video. Peace.